I wanted to say a word about the sustainability of the agreements. I think, you know, this was a, it looks like these were agreements between a Jewish state and a Muslim state, but it was a Catholic uh, marriage uh, in the sense that um, the, the, two, um, the two states have made a strategic decision, Israel and the UAE, and obviously with Bahrain and Morocco as well, Sudan we're moving forward with as well, uh, a strategic decision that isn't easily undone. It was tested during the recent Gaza conflict. And I think there were some people who questioned whether the Gaza conflict would shake the relationships. And what we saw, in fact, I think, was a doubling down in those relationships. And pretty much a week after the, uh, the uh, Gaza conflict ended, there was a double taxation agreement, a very significant one signed between Israel and the UAE to enable uh, investment between each uh, society. And I think the, uh, the um, Gulf states' investment in coexistence, their rejection of extremism has weathered the storm of, of the Gaza conflict. Um, we had Minister Lapid you know, visit already um, the UAE and Morocco, uh, hopefully Bahrain soon. We have embassies already um, and ambassadors um, and exchange of ambassadors. Um, very interestingly, my director general, Alon Ushpiz, I don't know if any of you saw this, but we're, we had the Bahraini director general here and they went uh, deep sea diving in Rosh Hashanah. And you have these lovely Twitter photos of the director general of, of the Israeli foreign ministry and of the Bahraini uh, foreign ministry in their um, diving suits, uh, diving in Rosh Hashanah with a Bahraini flag and an Israeli flag. And it made me joke uh, to our director general, you know, I don't know which other director generals of which other foreign ministries we do extreme sports with. We don't go bungee jumping with the director general of any other foreign ministry that I know of. And it really is a symbol of the, the intimacy of those relationships.